even know how to say this other than my girlfriend is here, Rob. We love her. I mean, she is the host of NBC's Today Show. The one and only. But it's one of my nearest and dearest, Savannah Guthrie. Savannah. Reunited. Oh, it's so good oh, yeah, to see you. Can we, since we're at the news desk, hit the headlines Please. and you can okay, take the first I'm one? I'm so excited. Okay, you're up. I don't usually have a live audience. Isn't this fun? No. I just have the crew and they're asleep and not even listening. Okay, first up on Drew's News, Variety reports that Sylvester Stallone has picked Ryan Gosling to replace him as the iconic Rambo in a potential revival of the movie franchise. Sylvester said he recently met Ryan, who told him how much he loves Rambo and that he used to go to school dressed up as the character. Aww, so cute. Sly said, quote, if I ever pass the baton, I'll pass it on to him because he loves the character. Do we like Ryan as Rambo? I think he could do anything. There's nothing Ryan Gosling but can't see, do, no, in my let's, opinion. Okay, but let me just take the contrary position. Do it. He's not, like, all buffed up like Sly. Rambo was, like, beefcake-y. I, no, I'm here for it. Don't, be, don't at me. Well, I, 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 love I, I just want to say I have done the homework and really studied Ryan Gosling's body, and wow. I think he's up to the job. I do. You're I really, such a giver yeah. to do that research after wow. hours Listen, like that. Listen, I'm not going to come to the news desk and not do my research. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. No, I, I mean, Rambo MG, I am into it. I, I don't think I really have ever seen Rambo. I have. Is it? I watch like Bridges of Madison County over and over again. Rambo's not really my thing. Is it good, Rambo? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's can, iconic. Can Ryan Gosling? Don't you think? He, that's the one with the headband right. and the, 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 the guy. So yeah. can we just all picture Ryan Gosling as Rambo? Can we just have, take a moment to get? There we go. We don't have to do it. We already did the that's work Ken. for you. I was going to say, that's Ken. Yeah. That's not Rambo. Well, I have another that's idea. That's Kenbo. If, um, if, Ken, if Kenbo doesn't work, what about Rossbo? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's okay if you're turned on. Go with it, everybody. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Point, counterpoint. If Ryan Gosling was off the table as a choice, oh. then who would you cast? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. See, this is hard. Who would you say? Oh, what about... Wait, idea. <laughs> He's done the research. Yeah, Jason been... Momoa? Yeah, oh, that's Okay, good. that's actually very good. Can I throw a name into the ring? Yeah. What about The Rock? Right? The Rock well, Bow? Yes, that's true. He I mean, could do it. Uh, he, of course Why he could do it. Why didn't we think of that? Yeah. The Rock, obviously. I've done rock. my research, yes. Savannah. <laughs> I, I honestly, I think I'm going to watch Rambo maybe this weekend. One, two, three, 17. I don't know how many there are, but I don't do are it. There like 18. There's a few. It's a commitment. Okay, well, if Ryan Gosling's going to do it, if he's man enough to take on Rambo, I'm man enough to watch Rambo. Yes, I'm in if you're in. Yeah, you got it. Okay. All right, homework. Next up, CNBC reports, there may be a new secret to long-lasting relationships, and the concept could be similar to what you need to maintain a healthy diet. So huh. it's scientific. A new study, uh, psychologists reveal that quote, balanced diet of affection, that's what they say, could be what relationships need to stand the test of time. So rather than focus on one or two primary love languages, and we all have different love languages, they say partners need to incorporate a balanced amount of all five to support longevity in a healthy relationship. What are all oh, five? Yeah, what are the five? I'm so glad you asked. That's what I, we had a follow up. So, okay, I don't know what, I don't do my research. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> let's see, I don't know what the five are. I would imagine it's like foot wait, massage. Physical yeah. touch? Well, hold on. You, we wait, have an wait, expert in our audience thank right you, here. Thank you, by All the way. Five. Joey Sickum, thank you. What is your What's name? What's your name? My name is Mia. Mia. Mia, what are the five pillars of a relationship? Well, I don't know about the relationship, but the language is the Yeah, the sure. language. Oh, yeah, okay. It's gifts, words of affirmation, physical touch, acts of service. Um, that's quality time already. Mia. I'm also a therapist. You so that's you know. You're a oh, therapist. therapist. Oh, well, that's well, how she knows. Okay, well, this is great. I'd love to get your hot take on this. I think as humans, we evolve. So we don't always have the same love languages at the same time in our lives. Yeah. And I think it's also good to remember that just because you receive love one way doesn't mean that other person receives it. So it's kind of being able to pay attention to that and ask them, check in with each other and be like, how can I support you? How can I love you? Because... The whole thing of love languages is to learn how to be loved well. Mm. And communicate. And communicating that. Yeah. What do you think your love language is? Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was number six. My, thank you. <laughs> yeah. My, yeah. my friends, <laughs> um, my kids, my work, which is so fulfilling. Um, and uh, 
alone time yeah. and in no such order. Yeah. Can I throw one in there too? Yeah. And I know you love this, but laughter. Oh. oh. Big, right? 100%. Sense yeah. of humor. Mm -hmm. That is like, when my husband makes me laugh, that's like, the, it's my, the best part of my day. Well, you think? Savannah, perfectly said. <laughs> well, gosh, all right. Well, our next story, uh, the, the wallets could be going by way of the flip phone. New York Post reports that Gen Zs are allegedly ditching their wallets in favor oh. of using a digital wallet in their phone. According to a recent study, 79% of Gen Zers use digital wallets and 51% trust their phones to digitally store their IDs, money, concert tickets, medical information, et cetera. Thoughts? Um, I'm kind of guilty of this. I, 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 I do have a wallet, but I, most things are on my phone. Do you know the, the reason I carry a wallet, though? Why? Those um, buy 10, get one free punch cards. <laughs> I and have like frozen yogurt. <laughs> yes. Frozen yogurt. With the a move. manicure place. Yes. yes. Uh-huh. I carry those. And until you can replace those, sorry, girl, but I'm going to carry a I wallet. Know. I did find out an interesting fact, which is that um, if you're going out to a bar or a club, they will not accept like your ID on a phone. You have to present the physical oh. ID. And I thought, oh, that's interesting because that is so easy to fake and forge oh a digital gosh. ID. If yeah. only they had it in our day. I know, I right? Mean, I had to go to the DMV with my sister's information to get my fake ID, you know? <laughs> is this true? That's what you did? Yes, I did. Honestly, uh, mad respect. Right. High five, high five. That's well done. You didn't know about my, my criminal do this background. Home, but. Oh. Of limitations is run. I have to tell you, there's a lot of things that you reveal pedal by pedal, and especially in your new book that I'm so in awe of. And we're going to talk all about it after the break. We'll be right back with more Savannah. Fake ID, go! 